myself Santosh. I do have around nine years of experience working in IT industry. And currently I'm working as manager in Microsoft. My core experience is towards data science, data engineering and data analytics project. Currently I'm managing around eight projects and total I have worked with around 80 projects from different domains such as banking, healthcare, insurance, e-commerce and retail. And I'm a certified trainer taking training for KSR for the last five years. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. This is a special video that is requested by most of the subscribers and on site. So we thought of creating this video. So uh, the agenda for this video is we would like to discuss how you want, how you will be clearing your screening round, speaking about the data engineering role. Now, uh, this is a very important thing which you need to know because in every country, they will have a different way of interview process. Now, uh, as part of this video, I'll be discussing uh, in most of the on-site countries, like if you talk about US, UK, Canada, uh, Australia. So we have a different way of interview process. So that is something which we'll be seeing as the first point. And then how you need to perform, like uh, what are the best way that you can clear it? That's something which you'll be seeing. And as in then with my experience, I'll share some few of the tips as part of this video. Now, um, in India, it's different. Uh, in India, usually like we directly HR will call you and then uh, they'll arrange a technical round and there itself, you'll uh, they'll see our capability and then they will either reject or select or push to the next round. But if you talk about the on-site, we have a different way of screening. That is the interview process. The first round will be like a screening round where most of your vendors or technical recruiters will have a short call with you right and they'll be asking what is your experience and what is your skills whatever is there in your resume so it will not be too technical right you can handle it you can clear it it's not a big deal but if you talk about the second or third round that is completely a technical part so if, if you see that once you clear the screening round right so you'll be pushed into a client so clients usually depends on the client whether they conduct one interview or two interviews so one interview it will be completely uh, technical and since this is where your technical skills will be tested uh, 60 to 70 percent of all the interviews will have coding now in the same interview also they may have asked some behavioral questions if there's any one round interview but most of the companies or most of the clients look for two rounds where the third round which is the client round two which will be like completely at the behavioral and management questions like um, usually like they'll ask you about your challenges uh, what you have learned and uh, what was the takeaway from the projects so in this particular video we'll concentrate more on the screening round so uh, in the later part in the part one or part two we will be discussing about the uh, client rounds now let's talk about screening round now screening round is actually the interaction between you and the vendor or maybe the technical recruiter. So technical recruiter will be the intermediate person. We will, he will be, uh, I mean, he will be like uh, uh, introducing you to the client based on the skills, what clients have requested for. So this screening round will not last for more than 30 minutes. It will be between 20 to 30. So it will not be too much of complex things. They'll ask at a very basic level. Have you worked on SQL? Have you worked on Python? Have you worked on Azure? Have you worked on AWS? What are the services you have worked? So it will be in generalized round where they'll get to know about yourself before pushing to the clients. So what happens if you think from a recruiter's perspective, right? So directly they will send a, a uh, candidate to client and the client getting re uh, client rejecting it so it's uh, it will not have a good sync right so this is like an introduction round wherein your vendor or a technical person and technical recruiters will know about yourself before pushing to the client now the first five ten minutes is something which has been given to you you have to talk about yourself and please make sure that you talk what is being mentioned in resume so that is very important and before even 
going through the uh, introduction some of the uh, some of the vendors will ask do you know about job description so what we are looking for uh, is it a good fit for you so what are the skills you have so always be prepared for job description before attending attending any screening round now this is very important now let's come back to the introduction now introduction is very very important so this introduction is very easy to score because this is where the recruiters or vendors will know about your work experience be confident enough to talk about what you have done in your previous experience now please make sure that it is not lasting like um, more than three minutes try to keep it short uh, because definitely they'll have a follow-up questions so you should have um, patience to answer everything one by one so keep it short maybe i would say three to four i mean less than three minutes that is something which you can do it now um imagine that i am giving an interview for a screening round okay so if i was a panel i mean if if i was a candidate let's see how can i proceed with this screening introduction now let's say that um uh, first of all thanks for this opportunity uh, as you know uh, santosh i'm from amazon so um here i am working as a aws data engineer so in aws data engineer what exactly i do is we do get the data from the different vendors and uh, in in the form of json files excel files flat files and for that the objective was to create one centralized data warehousing system and using our experience we were able to get the data into s3 so S3 is known for the storage layer and then we have created a redshift and redshift by using redshift we were able to come up with a data warehousing system and Athena we have used which acts like a serverless in terms of uh, querying and doing the analysis and for the heavy lifting transformations we have implemented with PySpark and most of the PySpark I would say that it is implemented in EMR so EMR is where we get the Spark cluster and finally, when the transformation is done, we were pushing the data into the uh, relational database and that acted like a um, upstream for most of the uh, clients. So this is a one uh, centralized data warehouse system that we have created. And just to add on, uh, coming to my roles and responsibilities, I was part of the implementation phase where I used to involve more in the um, data gathering, data injection, and as well as data transformation. And understanding the business, we were able to add more to the business value. And all in all, I this is something which I've done. And uh, my primary skill sets are SQL, Python, PySpark, AWS services. Well, this is an example which you should tell in the screening round uh, i mean honestly let, let me speak about this i'm not from amazon but i was able to build a story out of it that is what is needed what you worked structureize it and then speak about your introduction now let's give another try now this time i'll talk about azure okay now um, yeah, thanks for this opportunity. Uh, I'm currently working with Target, uh, which is one of the insurance based company and here uh, the objective was to create uh, one end to end pipeline uh, right from the data flow until like uh, we are uh, storing in a layer and for that we have used uh, Azure. Uh, most of the data which we receive in the form of a plat files, Excel files, CSP files, and JSON files, uh, we used to load it into a block storage and data lake storage. And from the Azure block storage and data lake storage, we used to bring it to Azure Data Factory. Now, Azure Data Factory we have used as our orchestration layer. And um, here we do our transformations, but unfortunately, we have a limited transformations. Then we uh, moved into Databricks. Now, Databricks is again a Spark cluster, which will help us to uh, start implementing uh, heavy lifting transformations by using using uh, Python and PySpark and we preferred PySpark and that's uh, just to add on this is one of my uh, strength I would say I've done a lot of transformations in PySpark and then we have pushed the data into uh, Azure SQL database which acted like a target table now uh, this is something which we have built and coming to my roles and responsibilities uh, I was being part of right from the requirement until building the pipeline I was being part of every phase and I was responsible for uh, implementing transformations and organizing everything um, uh, within the timelines and moreover I was a person who was able to do most of the transformations to the client well I've given two examples one with AWS and one with Azure well, what you really need to know is you just need to 
organize it before explaining to the vendors right and maybe i will not recommend this but still for the first two interviews you can just write it down and then you can keep on practicing that so that you get the confidence right it, it takes time for you to get into that confidence level but please make sure that you clear it it's it's an it's like a non elimination round okay but still then don't get rejected okay they may look into your skills they may look at your confidence level and they may look at what is there in your experience or a resume and whether you are able to answer well so that is something which you need to be prepared for and finally it will be like a follow up questions so when i say follow up questions uh, usually they'll ask um, are you uh, have you used this how long have you been working with python uh, how much you rate yourself in sql and uh, what are the transformations which have implemented in pyspark out of your 6 or 7 years of experience uh, how many years you have worked on uh, services uh, it could be aws or it could be azure so these are the follow up questions they'll ask you uh, it will be not too technical because technical round is something which you'll be seeing with the client this is still a vendor round it's a very basic screening round so be please be prepared for it and um, with my experience i uh, try to uh, give some tips uh, always speak too technically because technical people are something which the companies are looking for so speak too technically that whatever you have done has to be in a proper organized way so that you can answer well in your interviews and always try to showcase what you have done let's say for um, analysis you are let's say you have used synopsis or you let's say in aws you have used athena and you are aware of bi tools so try to showcase what you have done okay so if you showcase that that's where the uh, vendors will be like okay this is what we are also using so that makes them comfortable in hiring you and pushing you to the next round and also whenever uh, they say that uh, okay we have used git or maybe we have used bitbucket uh, always feel free to talk positively oh this is something which i can learn it's not a big deal so always be positive in what you're speaking okay if you say that no i don't know i have not worked on this there is a high likely chance that they may not push you be positive right see end of the day everyone has to learn something we are into the uh, technology world where every day there is new technology that is coming into picture so you should be having that positive attitude if you have this positive attitude definitely you will be clearing all the rounds and uh, the most important part is the first round will be more over a uh, basic level but it will be what has been mentioned in your resume only that they will ask for example let's say you have worked in xyz in a, a abc company like how long you have been working uh, what was the project team members like how do you work with them how do you get the requirement what are the tools you have used so those type of questions be prepared for it okay so this was a short um, i mean topic which we wanted to discuss and uh, for screening round uh, they may ask you a bit of basics questions and if you want to have a good clarity on what type of questions will be asked please log into our website so ksr data vision our website and in the ksr data vision website uh, i would say that um, if you have not registered please register uh, it's just a normal authentication that will happen over email and password and you can just give it's completely free please um, have your account and please go to the courses and you can go for the free courses so in the free courses there are a lot of courses that is available well let's say excel and sql python and even if you want to have some uh, aws snowflake azure you can always uh, get this here so try to get some hands on here and if you still want to learn more in depth where you want to clear your client rounds as well then you can opt for any of the Uh, courses that is completely you will be able to learn so this is something which i wanted to tell please get registered and make sure that you learn right so thank you so much for this uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions please reach out to our team our team is always there to help you and if you get job it's our success so please subscribe our channel and looking forward to have more videos to your interest thank you